Hello everyone, my name is Tor. I want to give you my teaching philosophy in a few minutes. So I really enjoy teaching, but it can really give me both satisf satisfaction and grief uh, sometimes when it goes well and I feel that people are following the lesson. It's really a great experience. But when I realize that I perhaps uh, managed to lose people or created more confusion than clarity, uh, it can feel that I've failed or it can feel quite unsatisfactory. So teaching is really like a performance art, in my opinion. And the more you practice, the better you get. But of course, this means continuous practice. Uh, when I have neglected to prepare well for a workshop, I can feel that I don't perform as well. Um, I try to be mindful of people's different academic background or academic, academic discipline, and also people's different approach to learning. I think there's no right way to learn. But what I think works best for most people, regardless of their background, is to establish from the beginning uh, some sort of foundational understanding based on an intuitive mental model. So I try to focus on making uh, concepts intuitive and to make sense uh, to people somehow. This can, uh, of course, be accomplished with analogies, pictures, mind maps, and connections between concepts. So I try to draw uh, connections between topics, things I mentioned before, or things that were taught in an earlier lesson. The caveat here is, of course, that uh, what makes me, what makes sense to me, is usually based on how I learned the topic myself. So uh, one should, in general, try to take a step back and try to view some concept or topic with the eyes of someone else who might have a different background. Uh, to get learners engaged at the beginning of a lesson, I try to start with a question or a discussion session. Um, so in uh, online teaching, it can be writing solutions or answers down in a uh, shared document. Uh, in an in-person workshop, it can be an open discussion. So I think it can be beneficial for learning to think freely about a subject before going into the theory and the details. Uh, so whatever concepts are then learned can be compared or contrasted with the original ideas that people had uh, because this will help expand the mental model maybe that you started working on in the beginning and also actually give people an idea of how much they've actually learned. Um, I think it's in general a good idea to show a glimpse of the full picture before going into details. Uh, sort of like exposing the full tree before focusing on the leaves and branches. One advantage of this is that uh, it can help learners acquire a mental model, as I said it can, uh, earlier, and this can then be refined and adjusted. And another advantage is that uh, it builds the motivation early. People can see the final result before learning uh, how to get there. And it's been shown that motivated learners have uh, they, they learn more than people that lack motivation. Before, so practically speaking, before I feel that I've mastered the lesson, uh, after teaching it many times, I, so before I reach that point, I try to follow the script, I follow the, the lesson. After I get more familiar, more comfortable with the lesson, I start to improvise more in, to some extent and react more dyna dynamically to questions. For example, by taking a detour uh, to explain a confusing topic that comes up during questions. Of course, you should always be mindful to not uh, go into too much details that might lose uh, more inexperienced people. So I can end up maybe with a few things that I think I do too often when teaching. So I sometimes copy paste code or text too fast or too much from a lesson material. This can leave learners behind sometimes because it takes time for them to switch between windows. They maybe don't see exactly what I'm doing. And it can be confusing when a teacher is switching rapidly between windows. Uh, so typing out the code uh, explicitly is of course, and describing it while you do so is slower, but normally more learning takes place. And hopefully more advanced learners that find it too slow would be compensated by some interesting advanced exercises after uh, that follow. 
And sometimes I feel that I also speed up a little bit too much, maybe if I realize that time is running short, uh, because it's really usually better to skip a topic or at least just briefly summarize it and leave it as homework rather than power through uh, a 30 minute episode, for example, in 10 minutes.